In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can get more from Google Analytics by learning about how to use Google Analytics e-commerce data. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's a way that you can get more enhanced data inside of your Google Analytics account that shows things like transactions and all the different steps of your funnel, whether that's users going to different product pages or adding something to a cart or initiating a checkout. It allows you to track both built in and custom events that you put on your site. So in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how to use Google Analytics e-commerce data, we're also gonna get into the difference between e-commerce and enhanced e-commerce data and how you can set both of those up. So in this video, we're gonna go over where you can find Google Analytics e-commerce and enhanced e-commerce data and what you would wanna use it for. Now in later videos, we're gonna talk about the technical steps to the installation or the types of tagging and tracking that you're gonna to need to use this type of data. But for now, we're just gonna get into where you can find it on the platform and what you would wanna use it for. So real quick, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna pull up this Google Analytics demo account. If you guys wanna use this, you can go to Google and type in Google Analytics demo account, and it'll bring this example account they use for training purposes up so you can play around with it. So right here, we're in the home view. You're gonna scroll down to this last tab, conversion. It's gonna open up, and the second tab down is gonna be e-commerce. So we're gonna open, open that tab up and then go into overview, and you're gonna be presented here with the overview of their demo account's e-commerce data. Right here you can see conversions versus revenue over time, as well as a number of other useful metrics. Most importantly, the products listed down here in terms of you know, their relative their rank in terms of product sales. So that's kind of some of the interesting data you can get from Google's e-commerce data. The most important thing about this is that when you set up a Google Analytics account, there's not gonna be any data for your product prices or transactions or a step action process like adding a product to a cart, initiating the checkout, uh, you know, reviewing the order and then checking out. And Google e-commerce data allows you to get those types of metrics from your website, assuming it's one of the websites that integrates with Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce data. So that's a lot to handle in a couple sentences. Basically what I'm saying is that most of the popular software for checkout processes on your website like Shopify, Samcart, WooCommerce, all have an integration with Google Analytics so that you can install the enhanced e-commerce tracking scripts onto the site and they will uh, provide you with the data in your account that you want without having to do any custom development, you know, hiring a developer to set, to set up any of these tracking scripts on your site. So again, we're not gonna get too deep into the technical uh, details or the installation. We'll get to that in another video, but what you need to know for now is that this is a way to get more advanced data into your Google Analytics account from your site that's using some type of checkout, regardless of the type that it is. So for now, let's just go into Google Analytics so I can show you where you can turn this on. So if you go down to the admin wheel, you're going to have your you know, account property and view. So you're gonna go over here to the view and you're gonna go to e-commerce settings. You're gonna click on e-commerce settings and your tabs will most likely be off. You're first gonna click on, on this e-commerce tab and then on the second, enable enhanced e-commerce reporting. So once you do that, you'll be able to go back out to your main view. We'll start here at the home again. And then you're gonna come down again to conversions and we're gonna look at e-commerce and overview. After your Google Analytics account starts recording all this data, you'll then be able to go in your account and get this. And what you need to know is again, if you're not using one of the types of software that integrates with Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce reporting, you're going to have to uh, set this up uh, and do a custom installation on your site to get this type of tracking. Now, don't worry if that is the case. I have some resources that are linked below that will walk you through that process. But keep in mind, 90% of you are gonna be using some sort of type of software that integrates with this. And setting it up for you will most likely be as easy as typing in Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce integration with insert your software so with Samcart, Shopify, WooCommerce, Thrivecart, whatever you have, just Google enhanced e-commerce installation on my platform. And I'll also get to the installation in another video, but for now I want to keep it simple. So enhanced e-commerce data, what's important about this? Well, 
one of the things that I like to do is look at the funnel uh, for conversions through my site. Normally in Google Analytics, you'd have to go in and set up these custom conversion events manually using things like goals. And for most people, those are going to be page view or event based goals where something is happening on the site or they're visiting a certain page that tells them that, yes, this user is purchasing a product or has added a product to the cart or is in the checkout process. But when you're using enhanced e-commerce data, you're going to have something very similar that's set up just based on the track. So you can see right here in the example site, what is being pulled from their example checkout for Google would be people that come to your site, all sessions, product page view, sessions that include someone looking at a product, sessions that include add to cart, include initiate checkout, and then complete the transaction. And you can see that step action process with each portion of the funnel right here, as well as numbers for users that drop out of that process. And like any normal view in Google Analytics, you can come up here and you can switch the time period you're looking at. So for example, right here, this is over the last seven days. And you can see that I have each step of that process along with the people that left the funnel at that process. And what's great about this is you can actually go in and then create a custom audience that you can send to your AdWords account or just dig into the analytics uh, for a little bit more using people that abandon at a certain step in this funnel. So for example, right here in the last seven days, I had 370 people drop out at the uh, final portion of the checkout before a transaction. So you can go in here and you can create a segment and then you can actually apply that segment to other views in your Google Analytics account so that you're able to uh, so that you're able to dig into some of the details about that user group specifically. So right here you can see all the people that abandoned at the last step of the checkout. This shows some of the other actions that people in that group took. So out of all those 378 sessions, uh, these are all the actions that the people in that group took and when they happened uh, in your funnel. So this kind of data is going to be very hard to get if you're not using enhanced e-commerce data. Uh, some other things that we can do are we can look at the uh, we can look at the actual uh, checkout behavior and get a micro version of our whole funnel just for the specific checkout step. So you can see that right here below shopping behavior when I go in, and you can see each step within that checkout. So this micro funnel that takes place within your checkout where people are entering. This, this is very common on something like a Shopify site where people have different. Uh, pages that are loading on the same page in a Shopify site that are asking them for billing information, shipping information, shipping options. So you can see the example right here where it has 250 people coming in and entering their billing and shipping information. 201 go ahead and then enter a payment and then only 13 proceed through the review to an actual transaction. So Google e e enhanced e-commerce data in Google Analytics is really just going to allow you to dig into your customer data and get reporting that's going to be more relevant to anyone running a you know, primarily a site primarily for e-commerce. Another big thing that's extremely important here is if you have uh, e-commerce, enhanced e-commerce, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, checkout abandoners uh, segment that we just created so you can see the overall uh, user overview. So when I go back here, one of the other really important things about enhanced e-commerce is it's going to show the ranking of your product. So this is going to be super important for anyone that's trying to promote, you know, a new product or wants to see what product segments are working on, what audiences, so that you can dig in to the user groups, you know, subgroups that are actually purchasing different products and see how, especially for e-commerce companies that are scaling, you know, how they can market specifically to those sub audiences within their, their overall uh, online ecosystem. So anyway, this is just a very broad overview of some of the things you can do with Google Analytics enhanced e-commerce data. I hope you enjoyed it. In future videos, we're going to get into how you can do the installation on different types of common sites like Shopify, WordPress, and we'll do one of the other cart softwares, probably, probably Thrivecart, but you can let me know in the comments below. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications so you can see all the videos that we're creating. Uh, that has to do with data-driven marketing, paid acquisition, and growing your business online. So thanks. And if you haven't already, make sure to like and press the subscribe button so you can be notified every time that we come out with a new video on data-driven marketing, analytics, and paid advertising.